what is something that you would be looking for if you wanted to call something evolution? Well, it would be populations of organisms that are adapting to their environment, being able to reproduce those offspring are going to have mutations that are mostly harmful. Some are going to be neutral, but some are going to be beneficial, and some of those are going to be selected for. Well, when the London Underground was built in 1863, workers inadvertently created a tidy, isolated habitat for the world's favorite bug, mosquitoes. Is that what you believe? So standing water would collect in the tunnels, which made a perfect breeding ground for those blood-sucking insects. Humans discovered this during World War II when the tunnels were used as overnight bomb shelters and the mosquitoes took to feasting on the people. It's bad enough when you're underground trying to avoid getting exploded without being covered in blood-sucking bugs. Now, what's actually weird about this is that they were biting people at all because the mosquitoes that lived in the London underground were actually a subspecies of Culex pipin pipins. But do you believe that the above ground mosquitoes usually feed on birds so, and not mammals. So in the eight decades or so that these mosquitoes spent apart from the above ground ones, the underground mosquitoes had switched to preferring the blood of mammals instead of birds, probably because rats are more common than pigeons in their new habitat. Unlike the above ground version, the London underground mosquito doesn't hibernate in the winter and the females don't need blood in order to lay their eggs. In fact, the two types are now so genetically distinct that they can't mate and produce offspring or bring forth. This is what we call allopatric speciation. So is that an example of evolution? I would say that it is. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. My name is Kent Hovind. Uh, I taught high school science and math 15 years. I'm in Lenox, A mosquito turning into a mosquito is not proof that the mosquito came from a rock. The mosquitoes already lived on blood. Now they're still living on blood. It's still a mosquito. Where did the universe come from? You do believe it came from primordial soup. It's still a mosquito. You guys do believe it's still a mosquito. Chihuahuas don't mate with Great Danes very much. The cave was a mosquito turning into a mosquito with a different diet. That is not going to prove we all came from a rock 4.6 billion years ago. Go ahead. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll try and keep it one topic at a time and as equally timed as possible. So AJ, floor is yours. Well, I'm not really sure how I can focus on one topic when Kent just gave a complete scattershot of different things. I mean, he talked about mosquitoes coming from rocks, not adding new information, variation, not evolution, six different types of evolution, cosmic, chemical, stellar, organic, Microevolution, macroevolution, family trees, common ancestry, unicellular organisms. I mean, this is not focusing on one topic at a time. This is Kent throwing out as many things, as many topics as he can to try and muddy the water and confuse the actual discussion. So I'm, I'm willing to focus on one thing at a time if Kent will uh, do that too. So you, you said that the mosquitoes didn't come from rocks. Kent, uh, do you think that I think that rocks were living organisms at some point? No, but you do believe living organisms came from a rock or from the non-living material, don't you, AJ? How would, how would a living organism come from a rock if a rock wasn't giving birth to something? A rock would have to be alive for, to, to, for something to come from a rock. It would have to give birth to, I, to I have showed you. Organism. I have showed you many times, AJ. I've showed many evolutionists. The textbooks teach the earth began as a hot ball of rock. Do you believe that? It was a hot ball of rock 4.6 billion years ago? Sure. But we're talking about mosquitoes, it, not, not I, planetary I, I, planetesimals. I, I understand better than you think, okay? The earth was a hot ball of rock. It cooled down and it rained on the rocks for millions of years and formed the oceans. And then in the oceans, the first living organisms appeared. Is that what you believe? Do you think that I believe that rocks were alive at one point? Because I don't. Uh, 
No, but the, did, the, did the rocks get rained on, dissolved into the water, and the oceans produced life? So the minerals that came from the rocks came alive. And where did life get started? Where did you, where'd your mosquito get started? Primordial You're soup. You're changing the topic, Kent. You're changing the topic from evolution to where did life originate from? That's a totally different topic. Well, you're, no, this is right. This is on target exactly because you gave an example of a mosquito changing his diet. How did the mosquito get there in the first place? In London or anywhere else? Mosquitoes are more complex than a, than a Corvette or a space shuttle. One mosquito is more complicated than the space shuttle. Study the mosquito anatomy, all the muscular structure, the exoskeleton, the spiracles, the digestive system the circulatory system, it can fly for heaven's sake. It's this big and can fly and can make babies. Do you really think the mosquito itself, any mosquito above ground or below ground, created itself from what? What did the mosquito come from? That's why I show the family trees. We started off as a single cell creature and slowly, there's a mosquito, I found the mosquito in here. Uh, and it's a different well, species. Got... This is a different species that can no longer interbreed with the original species. That's speciation. That's evolution. Uh, no, and there you go. Okay. By your definition of kind, it's a different kind too, because they can't bring forth anymore. So if you're saying speciation is evolution, then you are saying exactly what I said. You are choosing what everybody else would call variation within the same kind, microevolution. I think no, it's obvious. Scientists don't use the word kind. It's not a scientific term. Well, the Bible uses the word quite a few times, and the word species has like 12 different definitions. I've given those many times in the debate. I could call it up. And if the you word like. kind has zero definitions. Oh, okay. If you don't like the Bible, the word kind, that's fine. It's not scientific. The Bible's not scientific, okay. nor is kind. Okay. If, if they're capable of bringing forth, i.e., making babies, they would be the same kind. The animals know what their kind is. Turn all the animals loose in the woods. They, the, the, the raccoons go look for another raccoon to mate with. They don't look for a mosquito. The raccoons go look for another mosquito to mate with or a possum or a, or a dog or anything. They know they're smarter than the humans. But this chart, let's see, there's the protozoa. And up on the far left is the spiders and the insects. That would be the mosquitoes. Do you believe this chart should be taught to raccoons in, in school? This came from a public school textbook showing that the spiders and the insects and or a possum or a, or a dog mosquitoes share a common ancestor with mosquitoes. Do you believe you share a common ancestor with mosquitoes? Sure, but uh, wh why do you think that the raccoons are smarter than humans? We need to add you to my chart. Do I have you on here already? No, I'm not on your uh, board with pictures of men that are in hearts. I'm not on there. Oh, P.Z. Myers is the, came from a fish, and Wade the wizard came from a snail. So we'll put on here, A.J. came from a mosquito, or is related to a mosquito, okay? Listen, you're welcome to believe that. But seeing a mosquito underground change his diet to feast on humans when that's the only thing down there to eat is not evidence that mosquitoes came from a protozoa. Do you believe mosquitoes came from a single-celled creature over billions, trillions, quadrillions of generations? You already know the answer to that. And again, this is shifting the goalposts. So it's not just that the mosquitoes change their diet. The, the female mosquitoes of the subspecies no longer need blood in order to breed. That's not just changing the diet. And again, it's a different species. So this is an example of evolution. Okay. You can't tell so me why it's not. A mosquito changing its diet, and st would it still be recognized? Changing its is species. It Okay, is it still classified as a mosquito? Yeah, it's still classified as a mosquito, but it's a different species. Okay, so somebody decided, I don't think the mosquito cares how we classify it, okay? Irrelevant. Somebody decided, somebody decided to give it a new species name. Mosquito above groundosaurus and mosquito below groundosaurus or whatever they called it. Okay, it's still a mosquito. I don't know how you can't see this. You're giving an example of a variation that is not evidence for evolution. These charts, which is I'm objecting to, show that everything has a common ancestor. That's simply not science. All well, the you dogs could never admit if something was evidence for evolution because it would contradict with your DVD series that you sell. 
So well, that way it doesn't, you can never admit that. No, I'm not yes, asking for my relevant. belief. I'm not demanding my belief be taught at taxpayer expense in all the schools. You guys are demanding that we teach this kind of stupid propaganda, these charts are you in a the public school. Are you a taxpayer? All the taxpayer. Oh, you want to change subject? Yes, AJ, I pay every tax I you, owe. You, listen, you're the one that brought it not, up. No. Sure, I pay every tax I owe. If I owe it, I pay it. I paid gas tax a few minutes ago when I gassed up the Jeep. Now, the, the textbooks here show these family trees of everything going back to a single-celled creature. A mosquito going for, to a new species of mosquito is not going to help the evidence for this chart here. Bacteria make baby bacteria. Protozoa make baby back protozoa. Amoeba make baby amoeba. There may be hundreds of varieties of protozoa, and there are. There may be dozens of varieties of mosquitoes. Somebody Google that, would you? How many varieties of mosquitoes are there? There may be hundreds. They're still mosquito, and they're always going to make baby mosquitoes. And if you think the underground mosquito wants to feast on humans and now maybe cannot even lay eggs unless it gets human blood, well, that's interesting. And you think that process, that change is enough to, to, as, that we should be required to teach that all the life forms came from a protozoa. No, you're the moving the goalposts. The you're, you always do that. You, you, somebody gives you an example of what they think is evidence, and you say, so you, this one piece of evidence is proof for you to think that we should teach family trees in, in textbooks. It's like this is a totally different you, thing louder. that you're just conflating. You're conflating a different topic. I would like to stay on – focused on one thing, but you always pivot to a different topic. It's like you're not comfortable talking about one thing at a time. Oh, I'm very comfortable. AJ, one of my guys just Googled it. You can Google it yourself. There are 3,500 varieties of mosquitoes. I'd be willing to bet $5, but $4 is all I got, that or a possum or a, or a dog or anything. They came from a common ancestor called a mosquito. But do you believe the mosquitoes, all 3,500 kinds, came from something like uh, an amoeba, a single-celled creature, like this chart shows. This chart shows everything coming from a single-celled creature. Uh, Four dollars, all I got. That do you believe this should be taught to kids as science? You already know that I think that animals and organ living organisms have common ancestry, and yes, I do think it should be taught to children. I don't think your DVD series should be taught to children in public schools, which is what you want. You can deny it, but that is what you want. That's why you created a DVD called Public School Presentation because you want to get your DVDs in public schools and you want evolution taken out of the public school curricula, curriculum no. and AJ, creationism put in its place. It's obvious I was that in charge. That. No, if I was in charge, we would close down the public schools, okay? The parents should exactly. teach their kids, right? So they certainly, if they're gonna teach one religion like evolution, they should teach all religions. But they don't. Evolution they is not a religion and the Supreme Court ruled that it's not. No, the Supreme Court ruled you cannot require creation be taught. What's happening in the textbooks is they use lies, and I cover 50 some of them in my video series, lies in the textbooks. They cover lies. They all, all they do is present different lies that have been disproven years ago, but they still keep them in the textbook. So you gave your best evidence. You started off this tonight saying a mosquito above ground went to the London underground in the World War II or whatever and learned to live off of human blood, and now it's somebody decided to call it a new species of mosquito. Okay, there are 3,500 species of mosquitoes. Now we have 3,501. Okay, so is that your best evidence for these charts that humans and turtles and birds are related? Is that you're supposed to give your best evidence? Is that the best you got? No, I never claimed that I was giving my best evidence, nor is there one singular line of evidence that's the best evidence for evolution. What's the best evidence for evolution is the fact that so many different scientific fields cross confirm each other, even though the fields are totally unrelated like the dates provided by radiometric dating and dendrochronology. The, the dates line up. There's lots of different fields of science that line up to cross-confirm evolution. So that's what the best line of evidence is. It's not one example because you want it to be one example. So then you can try and debunk that example and say, look, there's no evidence, but there's lots of different fields of science that cross-confirm each other and confirm evolution. As you know full okay. well, if you cannot have billions of years, your whole chart really looks silly. To change from a mosquito that lives on animal blood to a mosquito that lives on human blood below ground in London is still a mosquito. There's now 3,501, okay? And there's still a mosquito. But you think that is a bit of evidence that we should all say, wow, that proves mosquitoes are related to jellyfish and frogs and starfish and humans. The mosquito didn't change to a new kind of animal. 
and there's still a mosquito. So you put them both in front of a kindergartner. Say, what is this one? That's a mosquito. What is this one? That's a mosquito. And there's still a mosquito. A kindergartner can know the difference. You may not, but they can help you. They know it's still a mosquito. A mosquito. It didn't change, and it didn't change species. And using the word species is, is uh, dangerous because, like I said, there's seven different definitions I've given them to you before. Exactly what is a species? Exactly what is a species? It's kind of a nebulous term. There are, and there's still a mosquito. They're obviously still, they look like a mosquito. They fly like a mosquito. And any changes that they get is going to be a loss of information, not a gain. Did they gain the ability to do something mosquitoes couldn't do before? Could mosquitoes live on human blood before? I bet they did. They didn't, maybe didn't like it as well, but so they learned to live on it. I'll have to study that out. I, I will, believe me, okay? But there what you you're giving, you're giving an example of um, a mosquito turning into a mosquito. And I'm sorry. It's a, I, it's, I'm it can't that. interbreed anymore, Ken. So by your definition of kind and by the definition of speciation, this is a new species. Therefore, it's speciation, which is defined as macroevolution. So that's the way scientists so, define it, not five-year-olds. We don't really go by what five-year-olds think in science. So the, so the two types of mosquitoes can no longer interbreed. I think this happens with thousands of examples of animals. I think that happens with cows. There are 450 varieties of cows now, and maybe some of them can no longer interbreed. Maybe they've lost genetic code. Maybe one kind can't breed with the other, but it's always a loss of information. I'd be, I, I'll research it, okay? But I'd be willing to bet the mosquitoes in London underground lost some information so they can no longer interbreed. They did not gain what is, anything. What is information? What is information? Okay, the DNA code. So they the lost some of their is, DNA code? I don't know. I'll find out. But I, I'd be willing to bet any animals that lose. It's all we've seen in, in life is animals losing DNA code. Something so you said or I'd wrong. be willing to bet that they lost information, but you don't know. That doesn't make sense. You'd be willing to bet money on something you don't know? Yeah, I'd bet money that they lost information. They didn't gain anything. Did but you they, don't know okay. if they lost information or not. That's all we've because ever you seen. Don't know so what the information is. Do you believe this should be taught to kids as science? Okay, I've studied this in many other animals and plants, and they lost information. And they may lose enough where they can no longer be interfertile. Okay? But it's still the same kind. Anybody would call it the same. Same kind. So they lost this some example of their DNA the code. code. Which part specifically of their DNA code did they lose? Read my lips. I did not study this one yet, AJ. I will study the mosquito for you. All the other ones I have studied bet money on lost it. information. So you're sure enough to bet your money on it, but you don't know because you haven't studied it? Absolutely. You just guessing? Absolutely. I am so sure that this book is true and they will always bring forth after their kind. I would bet in, I'd bet my money on that, all $4, okay? That's your bias. So, That's where your bias comes in. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll make it 10 just for you. Can somebody loan me five bucks so I can make it 10? Five, okay, we got $10 now, okay? All right, now what's your next? So your mosquito turning into a mosquito, what else do you have, AJ, that would make anybody want to believe and be forced to teach this chart to all the kids in the school system? You think your Nobody's mosquito turning into a mosquito? It. What now? No one's forced to teach it. Kids aren't forced. Who pays for these books with these charts? Not you. Property tax pays for school. Don't lie about me. You, I pay every you tax. Don't pay I property tax. tax. You don't have to pay property tax because you're a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Okay. Well, good enough. You're a religious ministry. And who voted for who voted to allow you, churches to be You tax decided to sign up for to be a 501c3. Okay. Uh, let's see. Donnie, we are way off topic here. I'd like him to give his next best evidence for evolution. It's perfectly legitimate. Are, are, are universities 501c3 or 508 or some other number? Do the universities pay property tax on their property? No. Not do as, the public a, not as a religious exemption. They tax? Do. No. Not as a religious exemption. No. It's, do they pay property tax was the question. Yes, but not as a religious. They don't well, they well, aren't well, excused you're from me, it you're telling me by a religious that, exemption. Wait, the public schools the, and the public universities in your county pay property tax? Is that what you're telling me? No, the homeowners pay property taxes, which go to pay for the public schools. Bingo. But if an organization school, is, if they're excused from paying taxes, it's not because of a religious reason. That's what I was saying. Is there any reason they can be excused from paying property tax? Yeah, if they're, if they're a nonprofit organization because they're a charity, 
That's one example. Uh, that's a mosquito. 